Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you once again for giving us this opportunity to come together and just meditate on God's word and pray. This week we've been talking about choices and even as we bring a conclusion to this topic, today we'll talk about, it's all about humility. Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Holy Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. John the Baptist was someone who characterized the words in today's verses. He was sent to point people to Jesus. He proclaimed Jesus was better than himself. John the Baptist was already famous. He already had a disciples following him. But here's what John the Baptist says that he was unworthy to even untie the sandals of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was feeling unworthy to even be a slave of Jesus. It wasn't a matter of lacking self-esteem. John was focused on the task that was given to him. His task was to prepare the way for the Lord. As a follower of Jesus, our focus increases on Jesus himself. John himself stated, he must become greater and I must become less. John's calling was to point people to Jesus and you and I as believers have the same calling. Whether we are in the desert, whether we are in the city or a village or a town, in our workplace, in our family, you and I are called to point people towards Jesus, where he becomes greater and we become less. There's no room for power, prestige, or privileges in the body of Christ. Rather, the emphasis must be on obedience, serving with a willingness and a humble heart. We must honor those who serve the Lord and appreciate them for all the work that they do. We can move from wanting to be in the spotlight to sharing the spotlight, to delighting when others succeed and making sure that others enjoy it. By valuing others more than ourselves, we can express gratitude for all that God has done for us. Today, even as we close on this series, let us make a decision to esteem others greater than ourselves. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for what we have learned today, God. That Lord, we are all equal in your eyes. Help us to value and esteem others greater than ourselves. And even as we walk this life, that we will point people to you. We will point people to your love and grace and your mercy, Lord. We thank you, Father, for this wonderful opportunity. We thank you for all of them who are watching this, Lord. We pray your grace and mercy upon their lives. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.